I got to tell you, man, it is really, really interesting to watch, man. No matter what a couple polls say, no matter what the crazies on the internet trick themselves into believing, tricking each other, talking about energy and grassroots and blah, blah, blah. No matter what these people say, Kamala Harris is not having a very good run of things over the last couple of weeks. And here's the thing, man. The majority of people are just not stupid. You know, most of us know a fraud when we see one. And believe it or not, there are some radical progressives that really did believe that Kamala was, you know, ride or die, one of them, right? They were all in. They were all in on Kamala. But when progressives start to think you're a fraud, you're in trouble, man. Kamala Harris is renouncing every progressive position she's ever held one by one. Just in case anyone still had an iota of hope that she might be better than Joe Biden on policy, Harris has spent the last few days making it clear that she is indeed running as just another centrist Democrat. Her attack to the right started on July 26th when a campaign official told The Hill that Harris will not seek to ban fracking if she's elected. You gotta give credit where credit is due, man. The true believers on the far left, they're not happy. You know, they actually believe in all this crazy stuff. They actually believe it. And now they're getting the feeling that maybe Kamala Harris doesn't actually believe anything, really. Maybe she just says things that she thinks will be politically helpful. And you got, you know, you got to give these guys credit. And I got to give credit where credit is due again to the Young Turks, man. These guys said it better than I think anyone. Now, I will say, though, again, what no other show will say. On the other hand, Democrats and Kamala Harris should not make the mistake of going around saying you have to vote for her because she's a black woman. That would be a giant mistake because that also turns people off. It Wait, does, yeah. I have to vote for her because of a certain, she's a certain race and gender? No, I don't. So the Democrats should not do identity politics. They should let the Republicans do their toxic form of identity politics and take the win. Will they be able to resist? I don't know. I don't know. I already see groups like white men for Harris, white women white for, dudes Harris. for Harris. Like, what are yeah. we doing, guys? But like, it's okay to be for Kamala Harris without stating your race. Do I have to do Turks who were not who are not Turkish citizens, Muslims who are now atheists for Harris? Just be for Harris without doing weirdo stuff like that. It doesn't help. Yeah, and it's also about the messaging within those groups, right? Like. I was a little critical of those groups and then I got pushed back. Oh, well, you should listen to the conversations, like the substantive conversations that are happening. But typically, especially in that white women for Harris group, the conversations are white women bad, white women like destroy country, use your privilege to promote Harris. Here's the thing, man, when your own people think that you're a fraud, where do you even go from there? I mean, she just added Tim Waltz to the ticket, right? And he has actually done some pretty progressive things in his state. You know, he gave uh, driver's licenses to illegals. He made Minnesota a sanctuary state to gender affirmation care for minors. And he basically single-handedly canonized St. Floyd. But I'm going to bet you that even he starts to try and distance himself from all his crazy stuff as well, which is going to be fun to watch. But the guy, he's got some real, real crazy stuff. I'm not exactly sure what these people are thinking. I mean, they had to know that they had to tread really, really carefully with the far left. I mean, the far left is the sole reason that she ended up with a really, really old straight white guy instead of Josh Shapiro, a guy who actually has a brain, a guy who could have really delivered her electoral votes in Pennsylvania, but they couldn't pick him because he's Jewish. And, and the Democrats, they're just not in on Jewish anything right now. But the Democrats, they... They don't care about any of that. They don't know any of that. They don't realize any of that. They think all they need to do to keep progressive voters is this. You know, we have to stay woke. Like everybody needs to be woke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. You know, the power I have as a prosecutor is that with a swipe of my pen, I can charge someone with a misdemeanor the lowest level offense possible. And by virtue of that swipe of my pen, you will have to go to a courthouse and stand in line. You will have to come out of pocket and hire an attorney. 
You may get arrested for a few hours. You will be embarrassed in your community. You will miss time from coming onto the Google campus. All because with the swipe of my pen, I've tried, charged you with a crime, which I may choose to dismiss two weeks later. It's an incredible amount of power. I mean, really, man, that should tell you everything you'll ever need to know about the Democrats. They think you're stupid. And they think that you're just going to choose someone like Kamala Harris because of her color and because of her gender and a bunch of ridiculously stupid things that she previously said that she's now, of course, taken back. You know, they expect you to forget every single thing you ever saw, everything you ever heard and everything you ever believed in the last four years. And honestly, I just, I don't see how that's possible. I mean, no matter how much gas these people serve, there is no possible way to hide the truth. There is just too much of it. There are reports that say that you have the lowest approval rating of any vice president. Well, there are polls that also say I have great approval ratings. <laughs> Swing voters don't like Harris. How big a drag is Kamala Harris on the ticket? She's a pretty big drag. I think she was arguably Biden's worst political decision. They don't like her. There's lots of reasons they don't like her. Kamala Harris's approval rating is now at 28 percent, which is uh, an historic low for any modern vice president. We're hearing it from main, mainstream media, uh, one outlet after another, one leak after another. Uh, the Kamala Harris is the worst vice president ever, the worst politician ever. We don't see the vice president. What, what people are saying to me, and I'm sure they're saying it to you, where's the vice president? Some White House officials are feeling that, that she came off looking unprepared for inevitable questions about when she might visit the southern border. That, that's from Mays over on X. Guys, follow him. He does an amazing job with these videos. But because what can you even add to that, man? That is the actual truth. That is the only truth. And this is exactly why Kamala Harris is in hiding, man. It's been three weeks now. And at least as I record this, no real interviews, no actual press conferences, still no actual policy on her website. She might actually be the weakest candidate in the history of presidential politics. And it's just it's going to get wild to watch, man. But that's just my take, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, be a part of our growth. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.